teach them, I want you to work on yourself and to show love to your husband and affection to your husband. Then you're going to be Hashem Tzadkanim. What was their answer? Rabbi Yoshua, this is not what the Torah is teaching us. This is not snoot. This is not modesty. And therefore, you don't understand what this religion is all about. If you don't understand that you are married to this person and you have to love him, something is wrong with you. So Rabbi, it's impossible. It's against the Torah. <laughs> against the Torah to love your husband. This is the, the Gemara in Masech and Sata there are eight people that destroyed the world. One of them, somebody doesn't want to get married, this woman, she wants us to get, go from one tiny to another tiny to You get married? No, I don't want to get married. I don't want people to touch me, it's against the law. This is when, when, when we forget, when men, and then I told to the men, if you come to a point that you like to see this Get games instead of talk to your wife. Something is wrong in your in your Avodat Hashem. You say, I don't want to hear. I say, you have to. It's part of your Avodat Hashem. Mazid. You have to understand she is your wife. For the good or for the bad. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. This is your wife. This acceptance. And they, um, this week we spoke about it. I spoke to Israel this week. She uh, Israel. We spoke about it. There was a survey that says that the young people in our world are not happy. And you know what is the reason they say? Because they have so much, uh, there's so much from, to choose from, they don't know what to choose and they become miserable. <laughs> so I remember when you were children and you were going to buy stuff for Pesa, there is three kinds of shoes. You buy one, you wish fair you. You're very good, but a hundred, you're going to choose nothing and you go faster. Maybe that one is good, maybe this one is good. <laughs> so they say that the result of the, this, this, this selection and this what they are affordable, make people crazy. And this is the root. Uh, this is the root. Today, this week, there was a big dispute in our community about what, what makes the marriage life in the community or in our modern society so weak. So what's up with somebody blamed this? And I told them the problem was, the problem is, the variety. People don't know what they choose. And if they, if they, even after they choose, they show there is something else better outside and it drives them crazy. But at the moment they will say, this is my wife, and this is my husband, and finished. They're going to start live. The acceptance of life makes people to feel happier. In our society, it's become, if you accept something, hey, you're, you're miserable. Somebody once told to a friend, I, made my, I gave to my mother a really Jewish nachatua. She asked me to marry either a lawyer or a doctor. So I married both. One first was a doctor, then was a lawyer. <laughs> now my mother is happy. So, uh, so the, uh, they, they, the lack of acceptance, Omer Rebbe, it's bad in all the aspects in life. So, Nashim Tzadkaniyot, that were in charge of the miracle of Pesach, of, of, of Yitziat Mitzrayim, the, the women, they were out of their way to make their husband to love them more. It's so strange the way we're teaching today the Chatanim Vekarlot, the way they understand them, or the man. When, when he's going to, to show love to his wife, that it's so, how do you tell me? I got a man, she's going to Melissa Ramesh All kind of assumptions that it's, it's not it's not real one. Zachovet Asher Asar Lech HaMalek, all the girls that we were rejected, we're talking about to accept life, to accept this is my husband, this is my wife, finish, these are my children, this is what I have. I'm going to make the best of this, that's all. Instead of this, what a lot of us think to do, we're running away from reality. He is going to play his computer games, 
this going is Facebook, this are Naklasniki, this over here, this over there, and, and they're just going to their, they're running away from their own life and make their life miserable. So, Baruch Hashem, it's Motzei Shabbat Baruch Hashem, and Baruch Hashem, Shabbat was good, was very cold, Baruch Hashem for this too, was freezing, Baruch Hashem for this too, and tomorrow uh, <coughs> there is Rit Bezrat Hashem, she has a lot of she has a lot And everything that Hashem is giving to us, Hashem is here, to be a great Hashem. And it's a wonderful week. And it's a great Torah, it's a great Torah, it's a great That is, his death is very painful to the entire community. He was young, he was a very idle person, he was a good person. He was one of my first students in America. And um, from the other side, I thought to myself, he died after the wedding of his, of, his, of his niece and his daughter. And they didn't go to all this. Sometimes I go to, I went to the hospital last week. Somebody said, how are you sure? He's one year on, in bed already. Cannot move, cannot function. He said, can you pray? Hashem will just take me. Who needs this life? He's telling me. So with the pain, I said, Bono Shalom. The one, one gem, one, one diamond was taken from us. That uh, it should be Milit Yosher Bashamayim al Kolam Yisrael Vadad Hashem, Shem Shemachat Elav Shalom Tazor Shalom. And she is going to be a big change in the community to be together Amen. with peace, with Avah, with Achva, Shalom, with Reut. Baruch Adonai Leolam. Amen. 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 Amen